Father, as we gather on this day, it is our pleasure to be in your house. Lord, as the seasons change and the fall weather kicks in and the freshness of the air outside, the beautiful sun that is still warm, and the bright, clear skies, and even this morning hearing the geese fly over and on their migrant paths to go to the home that you've called them to. God, in all these things, we remember that you are with us. And that, God, even through the changing of time and the things that we go through, you are steadfast. You are the same today, yesterday, and forever. And so, God, we take great comfort in you here today as we come to your throne to once again lift up your name, to remember the story of Jesus Christ coming and dying on a cross and rising again. May that always be the anthem of our heart, the song on our lips, and the story that we tell with our lives. Lord, as we hear today, we know that there are many people in our congregation and in our communities, our loved ones, far and wide, that God need your healing touch. And so, Lord, as we hear today, we spend time and we pray for those that need your special intervention in their life. We especially pray for those who, who are at the end of life, for those who have lost loved ones, for those that grieve here this day. We especially pray for them that in these moments that those families would find peace, for those that just count the numbers of their days ahead of them, that they would find peace in the midst of that, but also, Lord, a great purpose in the days that they have, that each of their moments could be used blessing others, making memories, spending time with family, and making these days count. We especially, Lord, pray for those who are grieving, who this day remember a loved one, and especially as all the fall kind of activities kick in that sometimes spur in us many memories. We pray that our loved ones that are apart from us, Lord, could be remembered, that they're through the tears or even laughter, that their memories would still be with us, and that we would cherish them, and that by the way we live, we would honor the ways in which they showed us how to follow you and what it meant to be your child. God, as we hear, we also lift up those who are sick, those in hospitals. We lift up the healthcare workers that are, of course, still feeling the effects of the worldwide pandemic. We pray for each of these. We pray for healing where it's needed. We pray for strength where it's needed. We pray for just a willingness to keep going and a just ability to keep one foot in front of the other. And that no matter what we face, God, that you would upgird us and give us strength to mount on eagles' wings. As we hear today, God, we lift up those who are still searching for jobs, those who have had dreams either delayed or smashed to the ground. Those who have lost not only loved ones, but also just dreams and hopes or even material things of this earth that we need through this pandemic. We pray for those that are searching for homes, especially those that are from other nations that have been rocked by devastation and that Lord are seeking refuge in other places that leave all their belongings behind and take with them only the very basic things in their family. We pray for these, that they could find rest somewhere and that, God, that they would be provided for. The Lord, as we're here today, we lift up not only these things, but we lift up the different challenges our world faces, whether it's just the challenge of politics that are very polarized, whether, Lord, it's just the, the dynamic of living in a world that constantly has natural disasters. We pray for each of these. We pray for the rebuilding process that's going on in many places affected by hurricanes and floods, earthquakes, disasters, and fires. We pray for them. 
And Lord, we especially pray for all those organizations that are out there that have boots on the ground that are helping these people, including our own denomination, Lord, that you bless their service and that through whatever ways we can give and bless those and make those efforts possible, God, bless the givers as well. Lord, as we hear today, we also just lift up our country. We lift up the world. We pray for world peace. We pray for just your light to reign and to shine and for the ability for our Christians to lead the way in a world that loves each other. God, we pray for your church worldwide as well as this church local here. May we always be seeking your will, doing what you've called us to do, and loving others is the way you've called us to love. Finally, God, we pray for ourselves that we can become more like you. And as we talk about here today, the image of God that's inside us, the Imago Dei, I'd help us to take one step closer to be united with your image once again. God, in all these things we pray and put our hope in you. And we pray that prayer you taught your disciples, that as we pray it marks us as followers as you. And so we pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen.